Hi, uh, there are two ways to determine the shape of data. Okay, first by using graphical such as stem and leaf, histogram, and box plot. Okay, second by calculate mean, median, and mode. And other calculation is by using formula of coefficient of skewness. Okay, there are two formulas that we can use to calculate the coefficient of skewness. We will discuss it later in next slide. Okay, first we begin with the interpretation of the value of the coefficient. Okay, first if the coefficient is positive value, which is uh, the coefficient is more than zero, then the distribution is skewed to the right. If the coefficient is equals to zero, then the distribution is normal. And if the coefficient is negative value, which is less than zero, then the distribution is skewed to the left. Okay, first formula Pearson coefficient of skewness one is equal to mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. Okay, the equation. A, find the mean and standard deviation for the time delay. B, find the mode. Okay, we look at the solution here. Uh, which is, you can refer back in the previous video in order to find out the solution of mean, standard deviation. Okay, similarly, the solution of mode. Okay, then for question C, Determine the shape of distribution by using coefficient of skewness. Okay, so based on the formula, uh, we substitute mean, which is 18.25, minus mode, 21.54, divided by standard deviation, 10.23. So the coefficient is negative 0.3216. Okay, as you can see, the value is negative. Therefore, the distribution is skewed to the left. Okay, uh, second formula, Pearson coefficient of skewness 2 is equal to 3 times mean minus median divided by standard deviation. Okay, I'm leaving this question for you to do on your own. So, good luck. 